If we have two resistors that are in parallel, then they effectively function as a current divider. Whatever current is flowing out from the battery in our diagram here, the current is going to be divided into I1 flowing through the first resistor and I2 flowing through the second resistor. So if we want some desired current to power some device, we can structure a circuit so that it will supply that through this format. And so if we go back to our study of parallel resistors, we uh, know that the equivalent resistance is found by 1 over REQ is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So the sum of the reciprocals of the resistances is equal to the reciprocal of the equivalent resistance. Or if we wanted then uh, rearrange this so that R E Q is no longer in the denominator, we can do that pretty simply here through a little algebra. So if we want the voltage, uh, we know that the voltage across each of these resistors is the same. So it's the potential all along this uh, part of the circuit is the same, and the potential along the bottom of the circuit is all the same. So the, the voltage drop across those resistors is the same. So I, the current that's flowing from the battery, is equal to the voltage V supplied by the battery divided by that equivalent resistance. Or if we substitute our expression up here, and then since it's in the denominator, take the reciprocal of it, we can write it as I equals V times R1 plus R2 over R1 times R2. And so the current through resistor 1 and resistor 2, R, uh, I1 is equal to V over R1, I2 is equal to V over R2, since again the voltage drop is the same as what's being provided by the battery, it's just that the current is going to depend on what the value of those resistances are. And so if we take each of these equations and divide them by this I equals V times R1 plus R2 over R1 times R2, we can end up with I1 equals the original current times R2 over R1 plus R2, and then I2 is equal to the original current times R1 over R1 plus R2. Or in other words, we say that the current is divided by these ratios that we see here. So this is similar to what we saw with the voltage dividers previously, how we can take a current and set up a uh, circuit that will divide the current by a particular ratio, depending on what the values of R1 and R2, these parallel resistors are. So in the circumstance described here, we want the current that's flowing from a battery to be split into two separate pathways where the pathway here has 62 and a half percent of the current so we'll call that R1 and the second pathway here has 37 and a half percent or hopefully we recognize those uh, in fraction terms which will be a little bit easier for us to work with as 5 eighths and 3 eighths of the current that's flowing out from our battery. So we need to somehow pick from our collection of 5, 10, 15, and 20 ohm resistors to end up with this split of the current. 62.5% flowing through that first part of the loop and then 37.5, 3 eighths flowing through the second part of the loop. So from our equations from, that we established previously, we've got I1, the current flowing through resistor 1, is going to equal to the current from the battery times R2 over R1 plus R2. And then I2, the current flowing through the second part of the circuit, is equal to I times R1 over R1 plus R2. So these are the two equations that we have to work with from our current divider uh, example uh, derivation before. So I need this fraction here to equal 5 eighths so that I get 5 eighths of the current from the battery flowing through I1 and then I need this fraction here to equal 3 eighths. So what I can do is similar to what we did with the voltage divider previously. I can say that 5 eighths 
equals R2 over R1 plus R2. And so I need to somehow select from these resistances that I have available, 5, 10, 15, and 20, I need to end up with this fraction, R2 over R1 plus R2, to equal 5 eighths. Now, if I said R2 equals 5, that would be possible because I have a 5 ohm resistor available, but that would mean that R1 would have to be 3. And I can't have that value because I don't have a 3 ohm resistor. So what I need to do is I need to multiply this fraction by something so that I'll end up with multiples of 5 on both the top and the bottom. And so the smallest number I could multiply by is 5. And so then I get 25 over 40. And so now R2, we can say, is going to have to equal 25, which means it's going to be composed of some combination of these resistors that will add up to make 25. So I can do, let's say, a 5 and a 20. And then on the bottom, if R2 is 25, and I need it to equal 40, since it needs to be that multiple of 5, that means R1 has to be 15, which means I can create it out of just a 15 ohm resistor. So R1, in this case, will just be that, 15 ohm resistor, and then R2 could be made up as a 5 and a 20, or a 10 and a 15. If we wanted more resistors, we could do a, five, a series of 5s, whatever it is, but I think the most efficient would be to say that it will be a 20 ohm and a 5 ohm resistor. And so that means that one resistor here, 15 ohms, and then if we have those two resistors that make up R2 to give us a 25 ohm resistance here means that we'll get the desired 62.5%, 37.5% split.